Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to Friday's edition of Optimize. My name's Andy and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can add Google Analytics to your YouTube channel with just a few clicks. If you don't know what Google Analytics is, it is a software provided by YouTube of where you can put it on your website, your YouTube channel or your blog and get in-depth analytics of where your visitors are coming from, what operating systems they're using, what countries and cities they're from. This is a great tool to add alongside your YouTube channel because you can get a much deeper insight into your viewers which allows you to in turn produce great content which they're going to love. So out of the way, let's get started. So first off, you want to make sure you're signed into your YouTube channel as always. From here, if you haven't got Google Analytics already, you'll need to head over to Google Analytics and sign up. I'll take you to over to my Google Analytics now and show you what you're going to have to do. Once you've signed up to Google Analytics, you will be given a what is known as a tracking ID. This will start with the letters UA and then a string of numbers, then a dash and number at the end. As you can see from my screen here, you see my tracking ID is UA, a numbers and a dash and another number. And next to that you've got the status. That means it's receiving data. This means I've already linked up my Google Analytics code with my YouTube channel. And now my Google Analytics is now receiving data from its YouTube channel and being displayed. So what you want to do to add this tracking code to your YouTube channel, you want to highlight it and copy. You want to go back to your YouTube channel and from here you want to go up to your video manager and once you're on your video manager on the left hand side menu you want to go down and click on channel and once you're there you want to go down to the bottom and click on advanced. Now you're on the advanced setting page you want to scroll down to the very bottom. You have a box at the bottom that says Google Analytics property tracking ID. This is where you want to copy and paste your tracking ID given by Google Analytics and click save. YouTube will then provide a message at the top saying your changes were saved. And what I'll do now, I'll go back over to my Google Analytics and show you the type of data that you can receive from Google Analytics from your YouTube channel. As you see here, this is the audience overview of my Google Analytics screen. You scroll down to the bottom, it will give you some very de detailed information such as the sessions, the users, the amount of page views, the time and the bounce rate. A bounce rate is what's known as someone who clicks on something and if they click straight off, that's classed as a, as a bounce rate. I would say anything below 50% is generally a good bounce rate. Anything higher than that is usually considered not very good. Next to this, you have your pie chart, which shows your new visitors and returning visitors. As you can see, I have a new, new visitor view rate of 34% and a returning view rate of 65%. That means many people come back to the optimized YouTube channel to view the content. On the left-hand menu, you have many options in which you can use. I'm not going to go through them all, but I'll read some of them out. You've got your demographics, the interests, the geo, which is sort of the location. You've got the behavior of your viewers, technology. In the mobile, you can also set custom custom analytics for, to view. If you scroll down further down the page, you have some of the uh, demographics here, such as the language, the country and the city, what systems they're using, mobiles, and also the language. And you can see predominantly mine is English US. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed how to add Google Analytics to your YouTube channel. Let me know in the comments below, do you already do this? And do you find it's helpful getting analytics from YouTube to your Google Analytics screen. If you haven't done this, are you going to start doing it? And also, if you have any questions or comments, leave a comment down below and I read and reply to every single one. And I'll see you all in the next edition of Optimize.